Moving on from Man United, because we are running out of time uh, today. Zuba, before we get into the title race, Zuba Mendy to Arsenal. Is this the type of January signing they need to go after? Is this the type of person that will get them back to their best in the attack? I've, I've seen links today that he, he's someone they really want. They might have to wait until the summer. Is this what they should be doing, in your opinion? I'm going to no. go to um, Hussam first on this. No. no, 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 no. They should not do this. They should not do this 100%. Um, Zubamendi is not what Arsenal did. Jokes aside, of course, like obviously he rejected Liverpool, we know this, but on a real level, I think Zubamendi needs players further forward. I think even more accepts this. It's it's so much more about the attack than they realize. They need someone to get all the pressure off of Bukayo Saka's back. This is something that myself and Mo have spoken about in the past, and we agree about this. Listen, if Arsenal want to win the league, Zubamendi does not necessitate Arsenal winning the league. If you want to win the league, go sign Jokeras. Even Mo will agree, if, okay, you sign a striker, no. now we're talking. You either sign a striker or a goal-scoring winger. I don't think signing Zubamendi is going to help Arsenal currently because the sixth position is actually something that, they, or the eight or whatever it is, is not really the position that they need. I mean, you've got Moreno, you've got Partey, you've got Rice, you've got players who can play in that position, you know, even Odegaard, you know, who plays in the 10. I think you need someone a bit more further forward, bro. You need wingers, you need forwards, that's what you need because that's the current issue with your team right now. I mean, Martinelli's underperforming to a crazy level, Sterling, Jesus, these players are, are not performing at a high level. I thought Havertz third in the corner, to be fair. I thought Havertz kind of took that step up when he had 22 GA in 20 games, is it? I swear. 22 GA in 21 games or something. So, obviously, he has shown the ability to step up. But Arsenal will not be fixed by Zubamendi. Zubamendi to Arsenal does not make them win the league because that's not the position that they need. Zubamendi makes Liverpool win the league. Zubamendi makes Man City win the league. With Rodri out, yes. But Arsenal need forward-line players. Arsenal, what makes them win the league is a Jokeras. What makes them win the league is a goal-scoring winger. What makes them win the league is someone who gets GA. There's so much pressure on Bukayo Saka because the rest are underperforming. Trossard, against Chelsea, was the worst player on the pitch. By far, worst player on the pitch, even though he came um, on as a sudden. I heard they're giving him a new deal. Yeah, that's why they need more forward line players right now. I don't think January Zubamendi is going to help. Whoever Arsenal is going to make that decision is an idiot, to be honest. Whoever is going to go to buy Zubamendi in January. Arsenal in the current moment are in freaking crisis. The bozos that want Zubamendi are absolutely not looking in the right place. You get Zubamendi as a replacement for Thomas Party. I get it. Look at the here and now. You might finish third. Third. That's a disaster for you. You might not win any trophies this season. And you're looking for... A repl I know that. I, I read the Zubamendi thing. It's a long-term replacement for Thomas Party. What are you... What are you, what are you? What are you looking at for, bro? You need a forward line today to score goals and create something. Odegaard is back. You're about to absolutely be out of the tight race if you don't score goals. You're going to go against teams that defend well. This is ridiculous from Arsenal. Zubamendi who? City needs Zubamendi. Liverpool needs Zubamendi. He needs Eucharist. Arsenal don't, bro. What Arsenal the heck? Don't. Go, si go fork the 80 million for Eucharist. You know what someone wrote in the chat? I take Oria Zabal over Zubamendi. And that's what actually... Is, even bro? Really... This is it's crazy. Logic. It's, yeah, it's it fucking so nuts. Sense. And the problem is, Arsenal fans, we're going to be Liverpool to Zubamendi. He's going to he's gonna choose us over Liverpool. You, who cares? They are above you by nine points, you bozos. Just ask your club to sign up for stop protecting Kai Havertz. And by the way, they still say, oh, by the way, uh, we need a left winger. I get it, but you also need a striker. You need a yes. number nine. You need someone that will occupy defenses, a big name. Someone that will come in and the league will fear that guy. Eucharist comes to your club. Everyone is marking Eucharist by two players. At least in the first year. You, leave, you elevate pressure of Bukai Saka. You elevate the pressure of Odegaard. Even you elevate the pressure over Kai Havertz if he plays on the left. Also, Partey is an Arsenal's best player anyway. So it's not like that position is like the position What is they going on? And also Declan Rice is the long-term six. It's the long-term six. Declan Rice can play the six. He won man of the matches. This is Zubamendi. Arsenal, I don't think the people that run Arsenal realize that they're in crisis. 
The people talk about the Cronkies. Yeah, we're happy. We are, we're going to make Champions League football. You are in crisis. Your manager have been there for five years, haven't won a Champions League or a Premier League. The longest serving manager for a top five club without a Premier League or a Champions League. And he's still at the job. He's still can at I, the job. Can I ask you a question? I am not disagreeing that they need to add something new in attack. He doesn't necessarily have to be a number nine, but someone who's going to score more yeah. goals. And, and more so someone that can create some of their own goals. I think it's really, really key. At the same time, though, that shouldn't stop them from future planning. So, say Zubin Mendy is the long, the, the, it, it, and we all know how good he is. If he is the long term replacement for Partey, but it, there's a likelihood that other teams are going to take him, should they drop that in the pursuit of that go that, that goal score? Yes. Can I answer yes. the question non biased? No, 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 I have a perfect or, example. Or, or should they I have the perfect example. Or, My club did this in the summer, Terry. Okay. My okay. club did this in the summer. Future planning for the future Allison replacement, and we signed Mamar Dashvili. Would I have right now, in this current moment in time, Thank dropped you. Mamar Dashvili to go sign a DM? Yes. If that Done. is going to stop them from buying a forward, yes, drop it. It doesn't yes, matter. Okay. Think about I, now. So I understand that. But see, again, for me, it's both for me. I don't think the link to Zuba Mendy is an issue, especially if they're buying him in the summer. But they can't get into this this situation, Arsenal. Well, what Liverpool did for a few years, you know, when Edwards wasn't here, next year, next summer, next window, we get our guy. No value in the market. Next time, we get our guy. That's why Liverpool just slightly under under Jurgen Klopp fell fell away. And Jurgen Klopp was partly responsible because he was suddenly had a heavy hand in transfers, and he weren't very good at it. You know, he, he should have just been left to manage the team. So I think Arsenal got to be very careful. I think it's fine to look at Z Zubimendi. I think he's excellent. They should definitely be doing that. But come January, I think that, you know, there's reports that the, the manager isn't happy with these wide players. I think they've got to go out and try and break the bank for uh, a... a, a, a an, um, aura we, we, an aura we, player. We, an aura player. Yeah, yeah. I think someone like a, a, a Nico, Nico Williams, somebody like a Yulkare, somebody like... Uh, Victor Osho, I thought it looked excellent against Spurs the other day. He but did, they've got he to... did. It's yes, fantastic. Yeah. Imagine if they have Victor Osman today. Do you remember? You remember? Oh, we do but Terry, we can reverse this question on you. If you were the sporting director of Arsenal and you had 50 million, let's say your budget for the January window was 50 million, you could either sign Zubamendi or an, a striker. Who, who are you signing? I'm going for a striker. No, however, we agree. How, we agree. however, I would... It's, that it's doesn't mean signing yeah. Zubamendi is bad. Need, it's just not... In England or... If I'm told that I'm, if I'm told I'm, yeah, if you're told you only got 50 million, you could either spend it in January or you can spend it in the summer. I'm still buying that attacker over, over Zuba Mendy. Yeah. That's happening. We agree. What they've got, and this is where I think I've seen Arsenal fans debating this online, and I just, I didn't see enough of them. Maybe that was my TL, where it's like, no, both is what you need. Maybe not in January, but that sort of, you, they, they need to go and do it because I thought one of, one of the things that I got, wrong about Arsenal this year is I thought that Martinelli would get back to a high level. I thought he'd, he'd improve from last year. And I know he scored at the weekend and he was quite a threat, but I thought he would... I, I'm, I, what I'm seeing from Kai Havertz is what I expected. Uh, uh, Saka, to a degree, is what I expected. Odegaard went out injured as an example, but I just thought Martinelli would have raised these... Got, got himself back to that sort of... that that What he was, I think, two seasons ago. Just not looking like that individual, looking really tentative... Looking like he doesn't want to sort of run at his fullbacks. I didn't think you just need someone who's maybe a, a higher level now and got a ceiling. I mean, there's what's his name? I always uh, Gravaskilia. I mean, I, every time I watch Cavara. him play, yeah. I, I watch him play against Inter. He has an aura. I, I watched him play against Inter the other day, and it was just every time he picked the ball up, you could see the Inter players basically go, "Ah, oh, shit!" <laughs> yeah. Literally, oh, shit. it's and, literally. And, and, and yeah. that's, I think they just got to. Go, they've got the. That could be the difference. And listen, the league might already be too too far gone, which we're going to get into now. But there's still three other tournaments they can win, and they're going to be in the FA Cup in January. It's when it starts. They should still be in the League Cup at that point. Palace and, at home, and, and they'll be in, and, and they'll be in the Champions League. S bringing in somebody like Kravaskilia, bringing in somebody in like an Oshim and Yukoreth, that could be the difference in those cup competitions. And I think what that does for Arsenal, especially for Mikel Arteta, is it buys him more time with his team. Then you add a Zuba Mendy in the summer, suddenly that squad, you put Zuba Mendy and Yukoreth in this current Arsenal squad, it looks and feels different. 
يا با يوسف زوبمندي تو ارسنال ان ايسوليشن از ا جود سايننج 100% بس جيفن ذا برايورتي ليست جيفن اور اي تيست جيفن وات وير سينج فروم ارسنال رايت ناو اي وود بريك ذا بانك ان جانوري فور ا فورورد ايل جيف يو ماي اكزامبل ان اكزامبل يوزنج ماي اون كلوب بيكوز بيبل جيت راتلد وين وي ساي ستوب اباوت ذير اون كلوب كارنتلي ليفربول ار برسوينج مارموش If you tell me right now, Hussam, would you take Marmouche or Zubamendi? I'm taking Zubamendi. Marmouche or Ederson? I'm choosing Ederson. Marmouche or Varela? I'm choosing Varela. Because that's the position we need the most in the team. Let, let me ask you a question. Let me ask a question about Arsenal. What about Mohamed Kudus in January? Is that good enough? Very yes, good. Yes, Aura. Very good. Aura. Do you know the difference between Mohamed Kudus? Okay. Do you guys know that, to be honest with you, in football, the people that play professional sport will know what I'm talking about. Do you know the difference between Saka and have it some Martinelli and Trossard. Saka is that guy. He is the guy that goes and asks for every single ball. He's like, give me the ball, I'll make things happen. Kudus is that guy. Salah is that guy. Kevin De Bruyne is that guy. Give me the ball. Kai Havertz, Martinelli are in these guys. They aren't the guys that ask for the ball all the time. They don't have that aura in the game that keeps the opposition on their toes. Kavaras Kili against Inter, when I was watching the game, Osam will tell you, I was nervous. Why? Every time Napoli has the ball, the first one to ask for the ball anywhere is this guy. I'm going to make things happen. That keeps the opposition on their toes. Always. Paul Pogba was that guy at Juventus. Arsenal don't have some of these people. They only have the Kai Saka in the forward line. They only have that guy. Kai Havertz is not a difference maker up top. Martinelli is not. This is why I actually think Arsenal, they missed the beat. They should have gotten Neto in the summer instead of Chelsea. But they didn't want to gamble. And they still need a striker. An aura guy. A different guy. Let go of Martinelli or Trossard. Arsenal have a long way to go. That's the problem. To be that team. The team that has the De Bruyne. The team that have the Salah. The Van Dykes. They don't have these guys. And they need these guys. And Saka's still young. And the pressure is getting to him. To be honest, the pressure is getting to him. The way, yeah, he, was treated, the, 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 the way he was treated at the Chelsea. Yeah. The way Korea those, rushed him. Yeah. Those It's, those those types of players will, will improve Saka indirectly in the Rooney. sense of. Do you remember Rooney? Oh, of course, I remember Rooney. But it, it's, that was the kind again, of player that what, Arsenal what, need. Where, uh, I know, but what will happen is when you add. Do you remember that, Rooney? That's funny. When you add a player, you used yeah, to be when, that when guy, you add a player bro. of that level in, it makes Saka better indirectly because it frees yes. up more time and space for him, and it's about. Right now, I think you put one player on Martinelli, you put one player on, on Kai Havertz, or zones will look after them. Saka has two men taking him up. If you suddenly have two players that need to have at least two players marking them, it means Odegaard or Kai Havertz has got much more space to work in in the middle. It changes things, so they need to do it. Speaking of the top...